Here are some guidelines to help you complete the NJR Audit Hospital Data Template. The template consists of four sheets, the first of which is guidance. This is written guidance as to how to complete the sheet. I will be talking you through how to complete the sheet, but you can always refer back to this should you forget anything. The second sheet is sample hospital data. This sheet is an example of how your data should look when it comes to us. If we go to the last sheet, hospital data, you will see that there is a blank sheet, exactly the same headings as the sample. This will be the sheet that you will populate with your data. Let's go back to the sample. The first column is NHS number. You may not have your patient's NHS numbers for whatever reason. If you don't, please don't worry. This does not need to be entered. But if you do have the NHS numbers, please, if you can populate this, it does help with the audit matching process. The second column is the local patient ID. That is the patient hospital ID that you give to your patient, the one that you would use to be able to identify the patient. The next column, OPCS code. These are the codes that are used to identify the operations and you will have been sent a document with all the codes necessary to be able to identify the operations that are used in the NJR audit. The next column gives those operations as, as a description. So you will have in here primary hip and knee and revision hip and knee operations. If we move along the sheet, we come to date of operation. Those are the dates that will be the audit period it will actually go from the 1st of April of 2016 to the 31st of March 2017 for this year's audit. The consultant in charge surname, in our example here, we've actually put the complete name of the consultant and if that's what you have, that is perfectly fine, as long as we have the surname in one form or another. And the next column, the consultant in charge GMC code. That is his GMC number. If you don't have a note of that, then the surgeon should know his number or certainly your HR department. So if we now go back to hospital data, you will see that we have asked you to complete this sheet with all that detail for your hospital. And if you have more than one hospital in your trust, then we will need one sheet completing for each of the hospitals. So in other words, don't put all the data for all the trust on one sheet, just for one hospital per sheet. I would also ask that you don't make any changes to this sheet at all. Please don't add any columns, don't remove any columns, don't put any other information in other than the information we have asked for. The next sheet we're going to look at is hospital information. This is important for us at the NJR because this is the way that we can identify which hospital the data have come from. At the top it gives a box for the Trust Health Board Independent Group you will find on your data template that there is an arrow to the right of the box which when clicked gives you a drop-down list of all the trusts. Please choose your trust name from this drop-down list. Hospital, exactly the same. There is an arrow at the end of the box. Please click on that arrow and choose the hospital name for the data that you are providing. Provide a start date and end date will already be populated with the dates that this particular audit is covering. 
Provider identifier prefix, please leave this blank. It is for NJR use only. Contact name, this is the name of the person who is actually populating the data on this sheet. It may not be the NJR Hospital Data Manager, it may not be the Data Quality Lead. Whoever populates this sheet, please put your name in there, together with your email and telephone number. In that way, if we have any queries at all, we can contact you.